And here we are in the semi-finals game replays, 13th Han tournament. Um, this is PLL versus ASR. Uh, we're uh, Bart 13T casting, rank 9 recording. ASR banning Sandwraith, Plague Rider, and Accursed. PLL banning Hellbringer, Puppet Master, and Jeraziah. And now we see the picks coming up now for the Hellborn. We have Andromeda, Corrupted Disciple, Deadwood, Soul Stealer, and Electrician. And for the Legion side, Arachna, Witch Slayer, Forsaken Archer, Pesty, and Pharaoh. So for the Legion team, they have Witch Slayer's stun and his miniaturization, Arachna with the Mega Slow, Forsaken Archer with the whole Pestilence with the stun and the Bash stun, and Pharaoh with the long range stun as well as his uh, mini stun. So that's initiation there from Pharaoh, uh, Forsaken Archer and Arachna, and as well as Pestilence, uh, sort of semi carry but they are able to dish out a lot of damage. And for this Hellborn side, we have Andromeda Corrupted, uh, Deadwood, Soul Stealer, and Electrician. So Electrician has a hold. Uh, he does have the capacity to tank as well. Uh, Soul Stealer dishing out a lot of damage with his uh, three nukes, uh, his ability to hold souls, and his ultimate. Deadwood with the mini stun and slow from the from his tree. Uh, the hold, f and as well as the mega slow from his ulti. Corrupted Disciple strictly damage. And Andromeda's got that swap stun. So, for this Hellborn side, we see Corrupted, Deadwood, Soul Stealer. Um, semi carries as well. Deadwood is sort of a strong carry. Uh, if you get a Blink Dagger on him, uh, it's very easy to get kills. Blink in, throw tree, hold, ult, goodbye, and then he can blink out quickly. So, we might see some of that. But at the same time, Witch Slayer has the capacity to do that. Not so much even with a Blink Dagger. Stun, miniaturization, get a few auto attacks, ulti, kill. Um, so we're going to see a lot of that too, and now we're into the game already, and we'll start with this uh, Legion. Uh, we see Forsaken Archer immediately heading top, Pestilence heading top as well, Pharaoh mid, Witch Slayer top, and Arachna's going to go bottom. So three Legion players top, and let's quickly pan over to this Hellborn side, uh, Deadwood mid, Andromeda mid, Corrupted Disciple top, Electrician now heading mid. And Soul Stealer is there as well uh, in the fountain. Three Legion players top, so they're aiming for a top lane, uh, top lane gang. And three Hellborn players on that bottom rune, so they're aiming for a bottom rune gang. So we'll see who who can get the kill. As here they come now, and there's Corrupted Disciple left alone. Pestilence, Forsaken Archer, and Witch Slayer see him. He's gonna try and run away. Oh, Witch Slayer misses the stun. Pharaoh nuking Forsaken Archer, getting an auto attack, and then running away. Had Witch Slayer hit that stun, it would have been first blood there on Corrupted Disciple. And we see a ward down there. Um, the Hellborn in that bottom forest. But no Legion players there, so they're not going to get a kill. Uh, straight off the early game. Rune's top. So someone on this Legion team is going to have a DD. Uh, I guess they're trying to figure out who should take it. And Forsaken Archer is going to grab that and head to top three Hellborn players heading mid now as here comes Witch Slayer Electrician getting some sight but they're not gonna go for it OJ backing up as well from the site Andromeda's gonna stay in the forest Electrician in the forest as well Deadwood's gonna be the solo mid here for this Hellborn side Electrician and Andromeda heading bottom uh, as well as Corrupted Disciple left alone top against Forsaken Archer and Pestilent and now two Legion players mid for Pharaoh and Witch Slayer against Deadwood so Witch Slayer's just gonna harass Deadwood while Pharaoh can just go in there and get his creep killed. And now we see, oh, oh the ward in there in that bottom forest by P.O.L. But it's going to be too late as the creeps have already spawned. And let's see if we can see an early kill here on Arachna. There's the hold from Electrician. Soul Sealer moving in, getting some auto attacks. And the armor from and, uh, Arachna. Andromeda shooting the stun. There's the first blood for Soul Sealer. That's P.O.L. getting that first blood over ASR. Soul Sealer with a kill. And he's he got his souls first. So he's going to get extra damage there. Andro and Electrician now heading mid. Here comes Witch Slayer in the forest. Let's see if they can get yet another kill. Andro, uh, and here, here they come now. Witch Slayer's going to get into vision of them. And there they go now. The stun from Witch Slayer snags them both. Let's see if they can get a stun hold here. There's the hold from Electrician, the stun from Andro. And now they're going to use some auto attacks, but it's not going to bring him down. Had they timed that better, they might have had another kill. Uh, if Andro had saved his stun a little bit for a little bit later, they would have easily had a kill there. Um, but it looks like uh, this Electrician Andro combo is just going to roam around in this Legion for it. 
Um, unfortunately for them, though, Teal did get a ward up in their fall. So they're going to be able to see where they're going and such. And as you see Faro there, he dropped below the tower, shot a snot across the map so he could get vision. And up top, Purple gets a gank on Corrupted Disciple. That's Forsaken Archer and Pestilence bringing down Corrupted. Uh, Forsaken Archer with the Skellies, so he's going to use his early push power. And here comes this Hellborn side coming to gank bottom. But that ward is going to reveal it to the Legion. So they're going to probably back up in a minute here. Let's see if we can see that. Yep, there they go. They're backing up slow. Soul Sealer now with his uh, triple nuke and his Soul Steel. So he's bringing out some extra damage there. And it looks like they're just going to wait in the forest here for uh, the Legion team to sort of push forward. And it could be a mistake there for Arachna as he is sort of um, debating whether he should move forward or not. Because he knows this Soul Sealer is just going to solo farm if he, if he lets him. And he's going to get more souls. And now here we go. Andrew moving in here. But there's the armor from Arachna. And we're going to see a hold from Electrician. And now some nukes. But instead, Soul Stealer tried to nuke Witch Slayer. Witch Slayer stuns to save. And Arachna is uh, safely safely uh, fine down there. Andrew now back in the forest. Electrician's going to stay in lane. Nope, he's going to move into the forest. And they're going to try round two on this Witch Slayer Arach combo as Andrew moving in. Kind of blowing their cover there. Um, let's see if we can see a hold there. Nope. Instead, they're just gonna kind of back up and not try anything. We see a snot coming here. There's the hold, the stun, but the stun from Witch Slayer gets off anyways, and they're not gonna be able to get a kill. The snot from Pharaoh from long ranged electrician now down below half HP. Uh, they might get a kill there. Uh, nope, he's gonna get away safely. But Soul Sealer was allowed to farm there. As you see, he can almost uh, kind of take out that Arachna. And there's the nuke. Let's see if Andrew can get a stun. Witch Slayer stun saving once again. Very good there. That stun from Witch Slayer has now saved this Arachna twice uh, as Pestilence poured it in to kind of help out down there. Here comes uh, Pharaoh through the through the forest. Deadwood also heading down bottom. They both see that regen rune, I'm guessing, and Deadwood's going to try and bottle it, but there's Pharaoh. The tree throw to save. The wall of mummies is going to prevent him trying to push him away. The hold, if he can get this hold, he might have a gank here, and he's going to do some some auto attacks, but instead he's just going to run away. And now quickly down bottom, we see Arachna getting some uh, slows on Soul Stealer. The stun from Pestilence, the stun from Witch Slayer. We might see Andrew go down this. The hold from uh, Electrician was tr triggered to try and uh, kind of grab Witch Slayer. Purple going, or pink going down. That is Andrew going down to OJ, which was... Oh, Pharaoh! So the, the snot rocket from Pharaoh from mid is going to get a kill. Corrupted Disciple versus Forsaken up top. Uh, corrupted with his boots now. So if if he has to chase down this Forsaken, uh, he'll have the ability. Soul Stealer now moving back into lane. He has 11 souls bottled up, I guess you could say. There's 12. So he's bringing extra damage. And there's some nukes. And that nuke does quite a bit of damage there. Uh, if, even at level 1, 2. And now we see Electrician moving into the forest. Uh, so they're going to try another hold gank, Witch Slayer creep pulling. To kind of uh, make it so they're stuck at their tower for defense, it looks like. And now we see Andro and Electrician moving in again into the forest. 3v3 down bottom, Pharaoh down in the fountain. Uh, Deadwood solo farming mid. And we might see a gank here. Here we go now, Andro moving in on Pestilence. There's the stun from Andro, the hold from Electrician, we could see it, there's the hold from Electrician, and there's the kill for DG, that's Soul Stealer with the nuke, and now let's see if they can get Witch Slayer, but it looks like Witch Slayer is just going to get away safely, a kill there for POL again, and now OJ pinging the forest as Deadwood's on his way down there as well, so he's going to try and snag a kill, Witch Slayer moving into the forest, and he's going to have Andro and Electrician to assist, let's see if we can see it, but instead he's going to run back to that middle lane, because he did see the snot rocket, uh, I do believe, but Deadwood's going to bottle a haste rune, and he's going to go back down bottom to try and get a kill, it looks, and there's the triggered haste, um, but he's not going to try anything, he knows they're just sitting at their tower, um, Deadwood now moving mid, he's going to try and get uh, Pharaoh, Wall of Mummies to save, though. So Pharaoh will be unaffected by that attempted gank. Andro now and Electrician in the forest moving mid. Pharaoh backing up as he knows they're coming. And we would see a lot more kills from this uh, roaming Andro and Electrician have they just moved around that backside. Uh, so the ward wouldn't see them.